Hello lovely people. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the gains up to clipping similar to a SMD DD1 using REW Spectral Analyzer and your audio interface. So just a heads up, it's, it's not as simple as just taking your interface, hooking up everything into the amplifier and measuring it. It has some more stuff to do with this. You need to divide the voltage. I have a guide, it's called Dogbutt, about how to measure amplifier distortion with an audio interface. And there is this thing, which is like a probe thingy with some resistors. It basically reduces the voltage from the amplifier into the interface. But in this video, I wanna show you is, uh, and we're going to actually check how accurate is setting gains using only a scope versus having the actual data of the THD. So I have an amplifier connected to a power supply. This is a static load bank. Um, I have 13.6 volts and I'm measuring the outputs of the amplifier with audio interface. And when I have here with REW, I'm playing a thousand hertz sine tone. And you can see here, this is a spectrum, which is a thousand hertz, just a main note. These are the harmonics. And if you click on show distortion here, it shows all the distortion, basically everything that's happening here. And we're going to be looking at this THD plus noise. So at the moment is 0.006%, which is extremely low distortion. And here we have a scope view of the same input. So basically it's the sine wave of the thousand hertz. And what I can do is, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to leave this view for you to see and the only thing that I'm going to be changing I'm going to be changing the gain on the amplifier so this is the gain knob and I will be turning it up and down and what you can see what happens with a sine wave it goes bigger or smaller so basically this is setting gains with a certain input so this is one volt out of the interface so I'm expecting my gain to be something like halfway everybody loves that phrase my gain is only halfway up so let me put the phone in there and we can see what's happening okay so this is a static view that you're going to be seeing on the screen and you are not going to be seeing me but I, well, the, the only thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust the gain so here at the bottom you're going to see the sine wave and we will be seeing when it's going to start to clip and here is the spectrum and here the THD plus noise is the main number that we're going to be looking at and it's it's live so it reacts to my adjustments and what the DD1 does the distortion measurement uh, the SMD tool it basically it detects this THD plus noise and when this number reaches one one percent then the light comes on on the tool and basically tells you that this is why it's called a distortion detector it just detects one percent of distortion and then basically the lights come on but you can see exactly the same here so i'm going to grab my screwdriver i'm going to put it into the gain knob and i'm going to start turning it up, turning it up so we're going to see so this is it needs some time to settle so it's going to be jumping up and down now the sine wave is going up, up, uh, let me position the, there we go, so it's increasing the sine wave, going up, 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 and we can see the THD plus noise, if it, I let it settle down, it's kind of the same, I increase it more, settles down, increase it more, it settles down, so basically this amplifier with gains almost like where it's supposed to be is very, very clean, so let me Increase it even more. Let's actually start clipping. So increasing it more, and there we go. So see here you can see the clip. And this clip, THD plus noise, is 3.6%. So it's, it's kind of a hard clip. I'm gonna reduce the gain, and I will be looking at this number, THD plus noise. So I'm reducing the gains, and we see we're dropping. The THD drops 2%. 171514 uh, a bit too low shut up okay 13 it's a bit finicky there we go let's say something like this so now we can see that 
Uh, THD plus noise 0 0.88, so it's like 1%, close to 1%. And we can see the sign is just about visible to clip. So from this, we can kind of say that if you're adjusting your gains with a simple scope, even the cheap scope that you can buy for $20, and you see just a little bit of clip, that's gonna be something close to 1%. If I'm gonna reduce the gain, uh, just a tiny bit, just to not to see these Batman ears. If I'm going to reduce it a tiny, tiny bit, the, there we go. So we don't see any clipping on the sine wave and we're down to 0.1%. So it's still not, it's still not the cleanest that the simplifier can do, but it's still fine. If I reduce it a tiny bit more, something like this, I have 0 0.01, so it's much cleaner. And from the spectrum, you can actually see like 0.01, you have just a few harmonics, not much. But if I'm gonna go into very light clip, something like this. So I have 1.5%, 1, 1. you can see all of these harmonics. So these harmonics is the thing that sounds uh, clip or sounds really bad and you don't want that in your signal. So always uh, like setting up the gains up to 1% to me personally it's way too much because you have all of this if you go into light clip. If you set up to 5% let's keep increasing it 3, 4, something like this 4.97% THD, you see, you have all of these, let me just, uh, so for you better to see, yeah, basically I have all of these nasty, nasty harmonics that shouldn't be in the signal, so if you set up your gains like this, yeah, it's way too much, back it down until you stop seeing everything, when there's nothing, when the sine wave looks clean, then you know you have way below 1%. So again, just to summarize, 1% of clip, when you slightly, slightly start to see the wave, when you don't see anything, that's way below 1%. In this case, 0 0.01. However, I would like to reduce it even more because I know that this amplifier is super clean. So if I'm going to reduce it even more, there we go, just a tiny bit drops 0.08, the tiny bit more, and yeah, a tiny bit more, and we have 0.085, which is a very, very good number. And if you saw from this, we didn't lose much power at all. But now you have all the harmonics under control, you have just the two main ones, the second and the third one, and everything is super mega clean. So yeah, this was a short video just to show you how you can set up gains with a specific THD and exactly the same you can change the signal. So if you change the signal to minus 5, you have 5 dB overlap, minus 10, 10 dB overlap and that's so on and so on and so on. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one.